We're going to make this one a quickie. I am finishing up my seeds. This little guy works like absolutely great to top my seeds with. Um, I just wanted to give a little tip for like the newbie newbies. Um, when your trays start getting heavy with, with water and plants, don't pick them up at the ends. Like out, like out here, pick them up in the middle. Cause look, see this one has a crack. Cause they'll, they'll crack. And when it's real heavy, it'll like, it'll almost fold on you. So you want to pick it up like this. So my other tip is like, I just started these seeds. So I'm going to want to dump all this dirt out. I'm going to dump it right back in the bag. But another thing, if you're, um, if you're watering them, um, some of them have holes, some of them doesn't. This one has holes in it. So if you're going to water them in, now I'm not talking about bottom watering. So some, some people bottom water, um, I won't be able to, cause this one has holes, but you, if you water it and it's in this, you still, you want to dump it out because you don't want a whole bunch of moisture sitting, um, sitting down in there. It will draw in the, um, infestation that likes the moisture, um, like a little black gnats, I think. I'm not sure what they're called. Um, they've gotten me before. And so, and then also like mildew mold, all that stuff. So just my quick tip on that. So I am going to water this. Um, I think I've got a couple more strawberry seeds I see popping out. I'm going to get it a little more even. Um, I'm not going to fill them all the way to the top. I'm not going to pack them down. Um, that's why I like it loose. That's why I did the little finger poke in there or the poke with this. Um, give a little drop in and then I'm just real lightly putting this over the top. It might settle a little bit. Um, you know, I might go in, I leave mine a little bit lower because when my starts to sprout, I may want to add a little dirt to fill up around it. If it's, um, you know, if it wasn't quite deep enough, that's just me. So I'm going to water it, put my lid on it, put it on my heat mat, put it under my seed light. If you don't have one, just use the window. It's okay. Um, and then once they start sprouting and once about 50% of them are sprouted, I'm going to go ahead and pull that lid off. So um anywho just the moisture is you know important at the beginning don't overwater let them dry out or close to drying out again you don't want too much moisture whatever works for you also depends on your soil um using the seed starting mix the only thing i downfall with using this thing is when i get to the bottom i'll have a big ball i've been really lucky this time it is almost forming a little ball the seed starting mix has like a coconut husk in it. So sometimes, or if you're using a bigger, chunkier mix with too much stuff in it, um, you don't have to use one of these. Um, it gets clogged and it doesn't like it. So I have to like dump out the big stuff, but um, that's just it. I'll leave it short and sweet. There's a bigger video on me doing this. I'm just planting strawberry seeds. Um, we'll chat probably every time I'm planting seeds because uh, that's what I do. Thanks, guys.